Hamza Amir is joining us on the phone line from Islamabad. Hamza, any word from the Pakistani government? When are we going to hear from Nawaz Sharif? Uh, well, there's no word uh, till now from the government's official sources uh, uh, till date that, you know, if he's actually decided to go to India or not. But uh, analysts and also, uh, you know, news outlets over here are speculating that he will actually agree, keeping in view uh, the current tensions going on in the domestic circle. Uh, he will actually try to mend the, uh, the fences uh, with his counterparts and uh, go ahead and attend. Uh, Narendra Modi is swearing in, uh, but at the same time we need to wait for the official word to come out. But sources are actually saying that the Nawaz Sharif is very much interested in accepting the invitation and he will be more than interested to actually go ahead and meet uh, uh, Narendra Modi on the sidelines, uh, taking forward pakistan India relationship. Okay, Hamza Ahmed, thanks so much for that. Uh, let's listen in to what the Congress party also had to say, calling it a hypocritical move by Narendra Modi when he has been criticizing all along the moves made uh, by Dr. Manmohan Singh and the UPA towards Pakistan. Lalita Kumara Mangalam of the BJP is still with me in the Noida studio. Uh, Ms. Kumara Mangalam, the Congress party says it's extremely hypocritical of the BJP to uh, now invite the Pakistani Prime Minister and call it protocol. And from all likelihood, from uh, the word that we are getting from Islamabad is that Nawaz Sharif is most likely going to come for, my, uh, for Monday swearing in ceremony. So clearly, on the one hand, it will be a diplomatic clue, uh, coup for Narendra Modi. And on the other, the Congress is also right. You've been criticizing them all along. It is hypocritical. The Congress forgets that they were in power for 10 years. Mr. Modi has not even been sworn in. What he has done is extend what uh, an invitation, it's a dip uh, as per diplomatic protocol. India is a major power in the ASEAN. Don't forget that. And uh, in order to be able to have five or ten years of government and growth, uh, you, we need to have peace with our neighbors. You can't begin uh, your Ms. rule Kumara by Mangla. saying that Ms. I'm Kumara not going Mangla. to talk to you, etc. Prime Minister-elect Narendra Modi, during yes. his entire campaign, he, he made used it the very word. Clear that he, he said will be that, a that, PM that, that, that while, while our jawans are being beheaded at the border, yeah, we are feeding chicken biryani. We are feeding chicken biryani to Pakistani terrorists. leaders. Now, some experts will say that was part of political, uh, you know, poll rhetoric. But many of those who have voted the BJP into power actually believed in those words. And oh. now what you're doing by going around, you could have already, no, I think like I asked unfair. you for Mahindra Rajapaksa. You know that the BJP is very firm about its zero tolerance for terrorists. Shouldn't the zero tolerance have started from the swearing in ceremony itself? Nawaz Sharif is not a terrorist. He is the Prime Minister of well, Pakistan. Well, neither was he one when Dr. Manmohan Singh invited him. No, but him. Dr. Manmohan Singh has, was uh, the UPA uh, headed by Dr. Manmohan Singh was in power for 10 years. In those 10 years, we How had does Bombay. How the fact that we had extended? Many things. Look, we, uh, the, the UPA had a chance to be very tough with Pakistan. They weren't. Give us a few months. Give us the time. You don't start off by... You need to have Pakistan at the negotiating table. You this can't is start exactly off by what the UPA was saying. We, no, but the UPA had them at the table for 10 years. What did they do? Yeah, yeah they but the BJP anything. all along said, so you we, are going to give, uh, uh, we are going to do things differently. We'll have zero we are, tolerance for we terror. Are. You Let's give us a chance, let, Maru. No, we no, haven't no. even... Uh, the, the cabinet hasn't even been sworn but the message, in. Don't you think the message should have been sent out right from the very start? I don't think so. I think it's being misinterpreted uh, deliberately, of course, by the Congress because they've, I mean, we've just almost swept them under the carpet with all due respect to them and their leaders. And it's very difficult for them now to do anything but find fault with the BJP because we've come to power with such a resounding uh, mandate from the people. So if but you come with a aside, resounding mandate and you don't have an opposition really to criticize your moves, you no, think the you can go ahead and take all kinds of initiatives? No, no. We have, we have the only initiative that we have taken now is to show that we are willing to sit at the negotiate, uh, negotiating table with an open mind. But that does not mean that we are going to go soft on terror. Anywhere in the world, we have made that more than amply clear. But these are Which exactly is why the same Pakistan words, Lalita Kumar Manglam, that I Dr. Agree. Manmohan the words Singh and the UPA also used. used. The words may have been used by the UPA too, but don't forget that they had 10 years in which to implement it and they didn't do anything. We are just coming in to government. We have not even taken a okay. oath. Okay, it's not just so you, give the us rest of the time. Lalita Kumar Manglam, here's the deputy NSA who's saying making extremely serious charges against Pakistan. He's yes. saying that we feel that there are going to be terror camps which have been reactivated, launch pads across the border, uh, which are again being reactivated and perhaps we can sense more terror strikes in the future. Under this circumstance, 
He has clearly queried the pitch, whereas an invite has been sent to Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Now, I'm going to repeat the question. Had the UPA been in power, the BJP would have gone the whole hog and said, how can Nawaz Sharif be invited at such a point? Uh, the UPA was in power for 10 years and we had asked a question often enough, especially after Bombay, what happened there uh, and various other terror strikes and the way they beheaded our soldiers, etc. But the thing is that in order to be able to uh, continue to, act, uh, to engage with Pakistan actively, we can't start any regime by saying that we are inviting everybody else but not you. Pakistan is just waiting for an excuse to, uh, you know, even when we've been extraordinarily soft on them, when the UPA was extraordinarily soft on them, they've continued to just terrorize our people. And uh, as you, as our NSA has just pointed out, that the possibility that uh, uh, there is new terror uh, strikes that may be being planned on Pakistani soil still is uh, very alive and is a fact. But the okay. thing is that we are, again, I'm, I, I have to point this out, that Mr. Modi is not yet taken oath. We have made it amply clear more than, I think, God even knows how many times, that we are not going to be soft on all terror. Right, all right, all uh, right. Why uh, don't you understand that if the NSA is permitted to make a statement Ms. like Kumar he just today, they are saying today, the same thing means, over and over again, which yeah, very clearly means, means that for us it is different. No, we it's have not, just come not in, at all. We have just formed the government. You will but see it is, that. You will see that we will at certain levels. take on Pakistan if they continue okay, to okay, harass us. Let's see. Thanks so much for that. Uh, Lalita Kumar Manglam of the BJP joining me here.